Hey guys, GameSuts97 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the best quality with a Dazzle DVC100. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is open Pinnacle Studio 12 Ultimate 12, that came out wrong, sorry, and uh, Vegas Pro 9. Okay, so basically you need to open it and, and go to the Capture tab. Once you've selected the Capture tab, you'll come up to a screen like this. You want your video input settings to be all on um, the middle line, apart from sharpness, which needs to be three and a half up. Make sure your audio capture's on. Uh, then you want to click settings, go to capture source. You want to make sure that your Dazzle's DVC 100 audio and video are selected. Make sure it's NTSC. Uh, make sure this is 16.9, and you want it to be no auto scene detection. Click on the Capture Format tab and go to MPEG 1.5. You want to go to the Custom Settings. You want this to be MPEG 2, 720 by 480 Now, if you've got a very fast computer, like, uh, you know, a good quality computer, you want it set to 8400. If you've got, like, a gaming computer, you want to set it to 8600. And if you've just got a normal computer, just set it to 80, uh, 8000. So I'm going to set mine to 8400. You want to make sure that all these four are unchecked. You want to use this format for new projects and you want to click the HD 1280 by 720 30p. Uh, make sure you copy the screen as it is. This one doesn't matter at all. Just make sure that you set, codec, set the codec automatically. And you're ready to record. Okay, so now I'm going to open Vegas. What you're going to do is go File, Import, Media. I recorded a quick intro earlier, so, oops. Videos, Video 4. Drag it to the timeline. Try and find the right spot. There we go. Okay, make sure this is set at best half, uh, preview half. So I'll just put one thing there. Right, go to the video event pan crop. And just crop out the edges. Like that. Then you want to go right click, properties. Make sure maintain aspect ratio is unchecked. You want to check reduce interlace flicker and disable resample. And you're okay now. And that should be full screen. Go to video effects, brightness and contrast. Drag on the reset to none and copy down these settings. Brightness at 0 0.05, contrast at 0 0.2, and contrast center at 0 0.83. Then you want to go to color correct secondary and drag on the reset to none. On the, sat on the saturation tab, make it not 1.25, which brings out the colours a bit more. On colour curves, drag on the reset to none, and make it a look a bit like this. I have a preset, so... There we go. Finally, scroll down to the bottom until you see sharpen, and just drag on a medium will look very sharp on that, but if you want to see what it'll look like without playing, just go to preview, uh, best full, and as you can see, it doesn't look as sharp there. Okay, so onto my render settings, go file, render as, what you want to do is select the 6 megapixels per second HD 720x30p, click custom, just leave the audio as it is, make sure this is HD 720 by. 1280 by 720. This can has to be all the way up. This wants to be at flat eight. Sorry. Make sure this is double NTSC. Bit rate wants to be at eight. And the project settings rendering quality needs to be at best. I'll just save this as HD dashboard test, and uh, I'll post it in a video response. Uh, if any of these settings have helped you, 
Uh, just re remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.